Well, we are right now on the plane. Um, it's a two hour flight. We're going to Tunis, inshallah. Join me in my quest to happiness From crime to Islam to Islam to success My name is Isaac Mustaqim The story or a river The Muslim with big dream Follow my vlogs, follow my life, follow my dream Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam So today, a new adventure inshallah We are going to Tunisia So right now it's uh, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. and uh, we just gonna wait to enter the airport inshallah uh, and uh, get uh, to the plane inshallah the plane leave our plane leaves in three hours inshallah so we're not late we're just at a good time alhamdulillah what I found that was really good is that uh, there's a woman to search the woman and like they go there uh, hiding from the other people so they can be searched with respect so this is something that is uh, good so after um, seven checkpoint security checkpoint they all check our passport every time in 50 meters in 50 meters we are finally uh, going to uh, the other side we are ready to board we're gonna have to wait uh, three hours Try to find a place to pray, Fajr inshallah, and uh, rest a little bit. But rest, I'm not gonna have to rest, rest a lot. I'm just gonna maybe read something, charge my phone. I'm gonna try to charge my phone inshallah. <laughs> Enter the plane Air Arabia. First time I take this. So we are right now on the plane. Um, it's a two hour flight until uh, Tunisia. We're going to Tunis, inshallah. Uh, I feel really tired today. Uh, trying to sleep. I forgot my the thing to put on my neck to sleep um, I don't know what usually when I travel I'm on a high so I don't sleep so probably I will go there I, I will arrive and I will have a boost of energy and not go to sleep and just start to visit or do something the, the bad thing is that you know, I try to not eat because um, my belly, since I drink the water in Morocco, is bad. Uh, as soon as I eat, I need to go to the bathroom, so that that's a bad thing. Um, but we will see. Until now, the flight it, it's a small plane, and uh, there's no uh, nothing to charge our phone. We would have thought to have a coffee or something. Two hours uh, while traveling it's it's fast so um, I don't know what to expect expect in uh, Tunisia uh, there's a bad really really bad thing uh, is that in Tunisia uh, niqab is not allowed oh I was just talking about the coffee I think they're gonna serve us coffee alhamdulillah alhamdulillah it's actually uh, I didn't get my coffee because I had to pay and it's not because I have no money it's because I come from Morocco and I only have Moroccan dirham and they don't accept Moroccan dirham in the plane only euro how is that uh, I don't understand a flight from Morocco to Tunis only accept other money that that is not more than um, so 
whatever. Okay, inshallah. Just arrived in Tunisia, alhamdulillah, we passed the border, now we are waiting for our bags. Finally out, I made, I changed all the money that I had, uh, Canadian money that I brought uh, for, um, actually for, for here, for Tunisia. And um, I, I got my chip, my phone is working, I got my gig, my internet, can't live without the internet, you know. So, but it, when you travel, you have to have internet at least, you know, to contact everybody. If something happened, at least you can send message message out and contact people, you know what I mean? So this is really important. I feel like home already because I have the internet, alhamdulillah. The brother of my friend, a brother in Islam, uh, came to pick me up, he's there, and uh, we will go with him, inshallah. Uh, Check-in is at two. Um, so now we're just gonna go grab something to eat and um, buy some food, inshallah. So we're just in Tunisia now, it's been uh, what, maybe less than an hour or an hour or so. We are driving around, seeing the, the beautiful city, mashallah. First impression, it's a beautiful country. That's, and I just saw the water from far. Can't wait to see uh, the water from close because mashallah, it looks very, very beautiful. Uh, we pass in front of uh, the Canadian event, uh, um, ambassador, uh, the, the the one from the U.S. palace from uh, is it a king here? No, it's a, I'm a president. A president. So the palace from the the president. Mashallah, like it's beautiful place. Mashallah. So now we are uh, going around the the place. It's called. CD Bosaic. Um, it's when you want to buy a house, it's the most expensive place in Tunisia. And they, uh, they are only allowed to paint their house white and blue. That's it. So it's a, it makes me think a little bit like the other city in Morocco, Chechuen. But I don't know if I said it right, but something like that. But um, uh, that other city was more blue. Here is more white and blue. The other one, it was the opposite, more blue and white. But mashallah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Alhamdulillah, we, um, we were hungry. We just ate a pizza and now we are in the area where we gonna live for here for one week until we make all the paper inshallah to uh, try to get married legally inshallah so so our apartment actually this is the back of our apartment it's uh, the area is a good area there's no like a, like the brother told me that I should not uh, be scared of getting stalled. <laughs> uh, it's not, uh, it's a safe area, alhamdulillah. It's a new area actually, a residential. And um, there's only one little thing is that I, um, I rented the, like the, the apartment on, on, like I said, on booking.com. And the first time I do this, to rent an apartment there. Usually it's always hotels. So now it was an apartment and uh, I'm a clean guy and I like cleanness and the, it, it was not clean. So it's not clean. Um, the towels are dirty, like sheets are dirty, like there's crumble of food, like it's not clean. So I, I read the reviews before um, renting that place and I, rent, uh, I read that someone else um, 
already complained about that uh, but he answered in the reviews that oh you did not uh, complain so uh, I did not send somebody else if you complain I will send somebody to uh, clean it so that I complained right away and they said he's gonna send someone to clean it inshallah if he if he sends someone to clean it today um, I would be happy with it I don't care if it's dirty now for a few hours not dirty 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 but you know so Alhamdulillah, I'm just gonna wait, uh, not wait, I'm just gonna see if I can um, find somewhere to buy something. For sure, I'm gonna buy some water. I'm not gonna drink the tap water. I'm still sick in the belly for that, you know, the pizza. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, first impression Tunisia is a beautiful place, man. Beautiful place. So. Alhamdulillah, until now, you know, I'm really, really happy about everything. Just the one thing that I'm not happy and maybe because of that, I will not come back, at least with my wife, is because they don't accept niqab here. And that's a big thing, man. That's a big thing because, subhanAllah, she had to um, take off her niqab to, uh, from, at the airport because it's not allowed, it's banned. You know, in public place. So, um, in the plane, she took off a niqab, and I feel so bad that I had to put her through this to have to take off her niqab. <sighs> Subhanallah. And I felt even badder. Like I feel this, this, this make like how I feel that she had to do this it made me feel a little bit less as a, as a man you know because uh, i could just man up and just lose all that money and go somewhere else that was another option you know that maybe you know i'm i'm thinking maybe that that could be the good idea the good thing to do you know because when she took off her niqab in the airplane she 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 got a panic attack subhanallah and that touched me so much she started crying just because she you know she was taking a niqab for the first time in public so subhanallah and at the same time it made me realize how much a good wife allah gives me subhanallah you know like you like to see that she really love and she really want to please Allah by wearing the niqab this is priceless subhanallah ah subhanallah uh, say alay alay barik say mashallah or alay barik say alay barik i'm sharing the, those private things because I hope and inshallah I want that it inspire other sisters to be like that you know and uh, inspire brothers to man up you know and ask their wife their sisters to cover up to cover up because this is our Dean Best way to finish, uh, to end the day, by eating some good fresh cre crepes, crepes, I don't know how to say this in English, but it's crepe, uh, cheesecake, and uh, cocktail, and after that probably milkshake, inshallah. <laughs> they sent a cleaning lady uh, she cleaned the room 
uh, actually the apartment. Uh, it looks nice, alhamdulillah. Uh, we feel like home right now. Um, we're gonna go to bed uh, early because tomorrow is gonna be another day, inshallah. Uh, just gonna finish on the note that um, Tunisia is beautiful, but I don't see a lot of Islam. Uh, meaning where we live, there is no masjid that I can walk to, to for Fajr. There is none. Uh, I don't have a car right now, so I'm gonna have to pray here, inshallah. Another thing, uh, I don't know if it's because of my tattoos and things like that, but I say salam alaikum to uh, many brothers, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, you know, even the place that where we went to eat uh, the crepe, the crepe and uh, the cake, uh, they start putting like a lot of music and it became like, you know, everybody, everybody, like most, like every guy and a lot of girls are smoking the cigarette here. You know, that's the thing. It's like, it's like fashion. It's like everybody's smoking. That's number one. Number two, they bump the music. There's no masjid. And I say salam alaikum to the brothers that I think, and they don't answer me back. Salam alaikum. They answer me, salut. Like, salut. Uh, subhanallah. It happens like two, three times. So, yeah, that's my first comment. Um, again, if you like the video, if you like me to share, you know, my trips and give you tips and share my thought and sh share a bit of my life so you can learn, um, subscribe to my channel. You know, it's not hard. Just do it now. Subscribe to my channel, inshallah. And um, as always, tomorrow is going to be in a, a new episode, inshallah. Uh, see you. Yeah. See you in my next video.